I'd just like to welcome everybody on the internet this morning. Uh, you have your buttons for your Truma tithes and digital missions. Yeah. Welcome everybody in the house. Uh, envelopes are coming around for your cash giving. Checks can be made out to BAM International. I've had a word on my heart for probably the last two or three weeks. And the title of my message today is Life or Death. And the focus is Choose This Day. And the word that's been on my heart for the last few weeks is choose. So if you go to Deuteronomy 30, verse 15, we're going to read through 20. It says, See, I've set before you today life and good, death and evil, and that I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and keep his commandments, his statutes and his judgments, that you may live and multiply and the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you, have, which you go to possess. If your heart turns away so that you do not hear and are drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I announce to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not prolong your days in the land which you cross over the Jordan to go in and possess. I call heaven and earth as witness today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursings, Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. That you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey his voice, and that you may cling to him. For he is your life and the length of your days, and you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abram, Isaac, Jacob, to give them. So how do we find life in our finances and giving? So let's go to Malachi. Malachi. Chapter 3, verses 8 through 12. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me, but you say, In what way have you robbed me? Have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. Uh, notice this is plural, not just tithe and offering. So you have your teruma, your first tithe, your family tithe, your poor tithe, free will offerings, and alms. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And try me now on this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open up for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such a blessing, that there will not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebu rebuke the devourer for your sakes, so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground, nor the, shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. And all nations will call you blessed, for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. So what is life? There's 12 blessings of being a tither. So life is having meat in this house. Life is having an open window to heaven. Life is having abundance. Life is having a devourer rebuked on your, your behalf. Life is having your fruit protected. Life is people seeing you as being blessed of God. Life is being living in a delightsome land. Life is having a book written about you. Life is being considered one of his jewels. Life is spared in a day of trouble. And life is knowing that it is a benefit to serve God. So what is, what is the opposite of that? What is death? It's not having these in your life. So as we start out this new year, I just want to encourage everybody to do what God says and watch God do what he says. I just thank you for it. And as everybody comes to give their offering, today at the end of the Feast of Tabernacles, Father, I just pray that, that everyone that did your word, that brought an offering, to this feast, I just pray that there is, there's life because of it. And if the people that didn't bring it, there's not life in their life. Which, we're starting a new year now, so there's seven feasts, and the Lord says not to come to the feast empty-handed. If you didn't bring your, tithe, or your offerings, you missed the mark. It's a new year, start over, we've got seven more attempts next year to <laughs> to hit the mark. So, so Father, I just thank you for your word. I just thank you that, 
that your word is for us. It's for so that we can live a better life in you. So I just thank you for it. And now we have Elder Christie coming up to you.